In this video, I'm going to show you how to create UI scroll view and how to programmatically add some images to it to make it scroll up and down. In this example, I'm going to use images, but it can be any other view. For example, it can be a customly designed user interface uh, loaded from a zip file. And um, if you don't know how to create custom uh, user interface and uh, using zip files, I will include a um, URL to a video in the description of this one. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, create an example uh, like this. Uh, I have um, Xcode open. I will create a new iOS application, single view, and I'll call it my custom UI scroll view. example okay my project is created and I'll go straight to main storyboard and we'll reuse uh, the view controller which is uh, created by Xcode for me I will uh, just as usual I will resize it to iPhone 4 h and the very first thing that I need is UI scroll view so I'll look for it, drag and drop on my main view, and um, I will turn on my assistant editor and create an outlet for this UI scroll view. And I'll give it a simple name, my scroll view. Okay, my scroll view is created and I can actually um, start loading um, images to it. I don't have images yet, but I do have them on my desktop. Uh, so I'll copy three images, add them to my project, copy items if needed, finish, I have images, good. Now, um, in your case, these images can come from a server side or maybe you read them from a database. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, I, uh, I, I added them to my project for the simplicity of this um, video. And to make this video even shorter, I have actually prepared some uh, code, a uh, base code that I will uh, expand and explain for you. Okay, so uh, for me to work with these images, I, uh, I need them to be in my I need them to be in uh, an array and I need it so that I can iterate through this array and uh, one by one add these images to my sub view. Okay, and I do it in uh, here. This is the code, the magic code. It's a for loop and what it does for uh, every single image in this, um, in this my images, it iterates and creates an instant instance of image so i create a variable um uh, my, called my my image of type image and uh instead of hard uh, coding uh, the name of this image i take it from this uh array and then because images uh cannot be added as is uh to a sub view i need to add this image um to a ui image view so I create an instance of uh, UI image view and I set it's, uh, my, my image to UI image view. Okay, now um, for, for this image to, uh, every image needs to have width and height. So basically um, um, in this example, I hard code uh, the uh, image width and height here and I set the frame of UI image view to the uh, width and height of this image. And the way I do it, I say uh, my image view frame size width equals the image view, the image width that I have here. And the same thing um, for, for the height. And now for, uh, for this image to appear at um, um, in, on a scroll view, I need to ha I need to set uh, the x and y coordinates. Basically, the, this, these are the origins, um, the uh, value from the left. The x will be, uh, for example, ten, and the value from the top, 
and its white position because white position uh, is uh, is going to differ. Images need to appear one under another. Uh, I took it out of this loop and every time when I add an image to subview, I then increase the Y position by the height of this image. And the same thing I do with the scroll, uh, with the con uh, scroll view content size, uh, because uh, when images do not fit, for example, if I run this example, if I run this, let me choose iPhone 5, if I run this app, I think these three images will perfectly fit uh, into my scroll view and I, it won't even scroll. Let's see. Yes, images here, but it doesn't scroll because they, they do fit. But if I take these images and I will uh, make the list as twice longer or three times longer actually, uh, then they won't fit and the content size of this scroll view needs to be adjusted. And uh, the, uh, the way I adjust uh, content uh, size is by increasing uh, it every time by uh, the height of this panel. Technically, the, um, the value is going to be the same, but just for readability, I wanted to create two variables. One is called Y position and another is called content, uh, the scroll view content size. Uh, now, the, um, let me uh, quickly change the background of this uh, scroll view so that uh, images are more distinct. So I will um, access my scroll view and I will um, set the background color to UI color black color. Let me run this and see how it looks. Okay, uh, now I see that images are um, very close to each other and there is no space in between them. So, and I, I would like to change that. So I will add a little space in between the images. And uh, the way I will do it, I will create a new um, uh, spacer value. And it needs to be uh, CG float. And I will set it to 20. And now I need uh, the Y position and actually the uh, scroll view content size uh, to uh, include this value. Okay, so let me run. Yay, so now I have a nice space uh, in between of these images, but this uh, this the, the space on the left side and on the right are different. This kind of this are margin on the left on the right are different, and uh, the reason is because I hard coded the um, uh, position um, on the left. This frame origin x is equals to ten, but if I don't do that, if I well, I can actually overwrite it by uh, positioning the whole um, image and the center of and the center will be equal to self view center so I will override the uh, value on the uh, from the left by centering everything and then I will write the y position again um, um, to make it uh, to make images appear one one after another, very nice. So now my sub views are centered. Another nice thing that uh, I uh, want to do with this image is I can um, you see this Im they're stretched and the uh, the images are actually of different sizes and the height and width. Uh, so uh, what I can do I can uh, up change the content mode. Um, of these images 
image view content mode equals and uh, I think it's uh, let's just double check content mode is a UI view content mode yeah false UI view content mode and what do we have there we have oh scale fit perfectly I, I would like to use scale fit. scale aspect fit okay let me run it and images are of its proper sizes and if I just change the number of these images for example again but let, let's say it's only two stop and run it doesn't even scroll because they fit um, uh, very well and if I put it back the content size uh, of our scroll view is adjusted here so it will work very well okay this is it for this uh, very simple uh, example and again uh, I used images but you can use um, uh, customly designed and designed user interface uh, with zip files and the example to the video that uh, will help you to create uh, zip files uh, I will include in the description of this video um, but it could be buttons it could be uh, customly created UI views uh, you know it could be anything um, thank you very much and I'm going to uh, uh, publish uh, this uh, source code here uh, in my blog post on Swift uh, developer blog.com if you have questions uh, uh, please uh, comment and um, I wish you um, good luck and happy coding